Don't let insect size fool you. One bite or sting can lead to lethal consequences. Three things you can't miss when evaluating a patient with bug bite are one, anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is a lethal allergic reaction that develops within the first 15 minutes to one hour post exposure, usually to hornet or wasp stings. Anaphylactic oral pharyngeal edema can obstruct a patient's airway, which is an airway emergency. Signs that your patient might be in anaphylaxis are facial swelling, wheezing secondary to bronchospasms, diarrhea, and generalized urticaria. These patients require epinephrine immediately. Two, toxin-induced reactions. When patients present with multiple nonspecific complaints after a sting or bite, think about toxin-induced reactions. For example, latrotoxin, the neurotoxin from black widow spider bites, causes a cascade of neurotransmitters that cause a wide range of symptoms. Perform a full head-to-toe exam in patients with toxin-induced and vector-borne diseases because they have multi-system involvement. Three, vector-borne diseases. Obtain a comprehensive travel and vaccination history on all patients who are febrile and have traveled to endemic areas of vector-borne illnesses, including those in the United States, regardless if they remember getting stung or bit. Examining patients with recent travel history and possible infection requires appropriate personal protective equipment. Once you're protected, proceed with your exam. As a physician, it's your duty to not only treat illness, but also prevent them. Educate your patients who plan to travel to endemic areas about chemical, physical, and immunological barriers against vector-borne illnesses.